Hey guys, it's Nemo and welcome to World of Warships. Today we're going to be having a look at the IJN Fubuki, the Tier 6 Imperial Japanese Navy Torpedo Destroyer. Now I say torpedo because there's a split in the lines. There's a torpedo line and the gunboat line, but the gunboat line is halfway torpedo until you get to Tier 8 anyway. Now this is a battleship heavy game. I only played this game about half an hour ago but it's 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 the Fubuki in a nutshell she's relatively quick doing up over 36 knots with a speed flag on uh, almost pushing 37 there but this is straight line speed remember so make sure you always take straight line and turning speed into account turning speed can be a bit different but she can hold herself relatively well in a turn uh, most destroyers can. We have three sets of three torpedo launchers so we can fire out nine torpedoes at 10 kilometers at any given time. Now 10 kilometers is the upgraded torpedoes and you are going to want to upgrade the torpedoes as soon as you can and the reason is is because the torpedoes on this are the bread and butter of the ship. You do have guns, you have two turrets with two guns each so you have four little guns little pop guns <laughs> as the, the Japanese destroyers are want to have now they they don't hit too hard uh, yes they did get the buff there was a buff that came out a while ago that uh, increased the penetration or the alpha damage of the uh, Japanese guns they are very slow turning as you can see I'm struggling to keep the turrets on the Vileki there uh, they just the glacial turret turning, and, and that's the same as any any Japanese destroyer until you get into the Akazuki and the Kitakaze and the Harugamo. Now I've launched these 10 kilometer torpedoes at the extreme range against that Vileki, and the reason is that the Vileki was straight lining. If and you want to be cautious at the beginning of the battle. There are two other enemy destroyers here. I don't know where they are. So what you got to do is is make sure that you find them before you you overcommit. So we don't know where he is. We have a 6.1 kilometer detection, so we know he's not within 6.1 kilometers of us. Now there's a Mitsuki and a Fubuki on the enemy team. We have three Fubukis. So what we want to try and do with the three Fubukis is wolf pack. You want to force this battleship heavy game into a blob in the middle of the map. Once you do that, it's Torpedo Fiesta. Plus it's also better for your battleships and cruisers to be able to fire away and and target something, and priority target something, instead of having to mix shots on everything. So I send out some more torpedoes. What I'm trying to do there is catch the Vileki as he's turning back around and coming down, because I'm predicting that he's going to come back down this way and help out his Gneiser now, and uh, there's another Vileki down here as well. And unbeknownst to me, this is where I find the enemy Fubuki. Now, I find that strange because on this map especially, this is the neighbor's map, I would expect to go in the middle and spot for my team first, but he doesn't. Now, this guy hasn't got a... I have an 11 point captain on this, so this fella here doesn't have a 10 point captain on his Fubuki. And the reason is, I, I know that is because I saw him greater than 6.1 kilometers. So, I'll fire out. Now we, that's that fire there. We just set him on fire, and that's critical because what happens a bit later on is going to be the end of him because of that fire. So we get a torpedo strike on that Vileki, so you're not going to get all your torpedoes off, but you're going to get, if you get at least one and a flooding, that's going to force someone's damage repair. Now once you're all damage control, once you hit the damage control, that, that, that'll be the end of that. It fires or another flooding. So what I'm trying to do here with this spread of torpedoes is get a multi kill. So I'm aiming for. I want to hit the Fubuki, but I also want to hit that Vileki. So I've put it in an area where they look like they were going. Now you can see here as I'm coming out of the smoke, and the reason we don't sit in the smoke screen very long is because of that torpedoes coming. Now I edged out 
slowly there because what I wanted to do was make sure that that Fubuki couldn't spot me. Once I was sure that he was still in his smoke, I can move out a bit faster. So you've got to eliminate the danger around you by just being aware of what and who is around you. So islands, ships, smoke, everything. So we didn't get our Fubuki, but we did get our Vileki. And we also get a bonus with another two torpedoes about to hit, yep, the enemy Vileki. So there's 26,000 off him with two torpedo hits, plus he's flooding, which means now he has to hit that damage control. So once the f I slow down, the best thing to do, if, you, if you're going to start open up and gun fighting with any destroyer, you have to toggle that accelerator, you know, forwards and backs. Make sure you use W and S to, to go forwards and, and back quickly. Uh, if you have a speed boost, use it. So we get a blind shot off and we set a fire. See that? Three penetrations at a fire. And because of that previous, uh, the first fire we set on him, he's now going to burn to death, which means that now that this destroyer is out of here, I can go forward and screen my team. The idea of the destroyer, <laughs> you have so many roles as a destroyer, you have to spot, you have to cap, you have to contest the caps and make sure that you fight off enemy destroyers, you have to screen your team against torpedoes, you pretty much have to do everything. Uh, you're, you're the Swiss army knife of World of Warships and that's what you've got to be. Yes you can't open water gunboat and, and fight as well as what a cruiser or a battleship could, but you can still do it if it has to happen. With Japanese torpedo boats though, that's not what you want to happen. You, your torpedoes are your bread and butter. Yes, your guns, and remember this, on every ship your guns are your main armament. So don't try to get torpedo strikes off in a knife fight. Just use your guns. You can use the torpedoes if you're going to get them. Um, but don't be, don't try to use them as priority number one, you know, you need to use those guns. So we set the first, first uh, set of torpedoes on this run is off towards the Vileki. What I want to try and do is hit him if I can, but he's probably going to die anyway. But you're going to, you want to make sure that they do die. Uh, that's why don't be too worried about kill secures, as people call it, or kill steals as people call it. Don't worry about that. A dead ship is a dead ship, which means that you're more likely to win the game. You get more experience, more credits, if you win, than if you lose. So you want to win. Now the other torpedoes were off at the Fuso. Now I know the Fuso is a long way away, yes, but there's a couple of things that are going to happen. And one is that the Vileki might see those torpedoes. Now if he does, it's going to force the Fuso to do a couple of things. Either stay on the straight line that he was going on, which I was hoping, because it would have been another couple of torpedo hits, or it would have been turn him in or away. And as, as it happens, it turned him away. Now when that turns him away, it takes his guns out of the battle. So if you can, even if you don't hit with torpedoes, you want to cordon off areas and you want to take guns out of the battle to give your team an advantage. Torpedoes are going to be probably the scariest thing in the game because they just come out of nowhere. Even Japanese, you know, in the, the Shimakaze for example, her torpedoes are seen from one and a half kilometers or further away, 1.9 I think it is. It, it's pretty rough, but she does get a lot of spread on her torpedoes and you know, you, you see torpedoes coming to you as a battleship or a cruiser or even a destroyer and it's one of the, the worst things, the, the feeling is just a oh no feeling, you know and so <coughs> because of that torpedoes are you know, the best at cordoning off so I call on this Lagau here, Lagau is very fast, very dangerous against destroyers <laughs> and the Leon, ah, oh, the Leon, one of the greatest ships in the game, the, the, the French Tier 7 battleship, absolutely deletes that Legal for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen my blob of ships. Now, I always tell you guys, play the objective first, but that Mitsuki was last spotted out here, and he could harass, and if left alone, a lone destroyer,
especially one that can reload its torpedoes so fast, will be able to just have an absolute field day with a whole heap of blind battleships. So I need to get out here and screen them. None of them have hydroacoustic search, so that's a, a really bad thing for them. So we're going to push out here, we're going to scream, we're going to make sure that the, the Mitsuki can't get them, and then we're going to push in towards the cap. The, ga like the game might have five ships left, but as I say all the time, anybody, any one of these ships could have an absolutely phenomenal comeback and you could have your ships start doing things that are just gonna get them killed and that happens so many times I've seen so many times where teams have won games from this position because they stay calm they get the job done and the enemy team thinks well it's all over no cap kill all and they YOLO and they do silly things and they get themselves killed and the enemy team which had five ships now uh, finishes the game on five ships but your team which had 11 ships left finishes on none because of silly things so you've always got to just make sure that you play that objective do not try not to lose control of yourself you know it's, it's exciting when you win a game so easily but it can only be done when you're paying attention and maintain attention all the way through the game. So we can't see... Oh, I went over far enough where I should have been able to get torpedoes spotted. If you have a look, I've been looking around a fair bit, making sure that I can I can check all the lanes. What I'm here doing here is looking for torpedoes. Because if I can see torpedoes going near my battleships, it'll tell me in which direction the Mitsuki is. So if I have to, I can turn around and go and cut him off. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go towards the cap here because I couldn't see him. There's no torpedoes around. I'd say he'd run over to support and that's what he wants to do. What you should do anyway, go to support. Anyway, 65,000 damage. Not too bad. A couple of kills. Five torpedo hits. We probably launched a lot more than that. Second on the team is not bad at all. Uh, both Fubuki, or all three Fubukis there having a job or doing their job. So how do we build the Fubuki? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to run premium consumables, obviously. I mean, this was straight after the battle, so I didn't have them enabled because I don't play the Fubuki as much. So we're going to go with Main Armaments Mod 1, protect our guns in our torpedo tubes. Propulsion Mod 1, so we can protect our engine. Aiming Systems Mod 1, we want to get those torpedo tubes turning as fast as they can. And then Propulsion Mod 2, because it's always helpful for their stop, start, and sitting in smokes. So an 11 point captain will say 10 points. First couple of points we're going to run is priority targets. Always helpful. I find it's the most helpful skill at, that, at the level 1. Last stand is mandatory. Torpedo arm and expertise because you want your torps to reload as fast as they can. They are your bread and butter. And concealment expert because you already have bad concealment. So... The Fubuki, she's not too bad, in fact, she's quite good for a tier where you face a Farragut and a Guider at 6.6 .6 kilometers. Uh, it can be quite difficult having uh, a tier 6 destroyer, especially after you go from having good concealment at tier 5, you know, the T-22 has a 5.7, the Nicholas has a 5.8. Uh, and then you've got to go to tier 6, which is quite tough, especially when you face tier 8s and you're facing off against Lightnings and Cossacks and Kagaros, you know, 5.4, 5.5 kilometer surface detection. Other than that, not too bad of a ship. Anyway, guys, that's my Fubuki commentary. Hope you get something out of it. Thanks for joining me. And stay safe out there.